the Digital Millennium Copyright Act prohibits circumventing technological measures that control access to works protected under the DMCA. We do not condone the illegal use of software to violate the copyright of any work. The following tutorial should only be used to help you rip or copy DVDs or Blu-ray discs for which you are legally authorized. Ripping DVDs for personal use is illegal if the DVD contains copy protected content. Be sure to watch our other video, Is It Legal to Make Copies of Your DVDs and Blu-rays, for more information. One of the main reasons why I'm making this video is because my past video on this software reached over 62,000 views before I took it down. And the reason I took it down was because there was a much newer version of the software available. And as soon as I started using it, I realized how much better it was. And I had to put out an updated video. So let me show you around one of my favorite DVD and Blu-ray ripping softwares. It's called the Owl Woe Professional Media. And the current version is version 13 in 2024. I'm releasing this review first because it will be the software that I compare all others to. I will add some links below in the description for where to download this software and any affiliate links in the future if they ever sponsor this video. As of the posting of this video, we have not been contacted by Liao and they are not sponsoring this video at this time. But I will post it as a sponsored video because I'm sure it will be sponsored in the future. I will include any discount information in the description below as well as it becomes available. So let me first just add that I've used Liawal DVD and Blu-ray Ripper software for many years. I feel it's safe to download and use, but you should always use caution when downloading and installing software. I can also say that I have contacted them in the past and they've always lived up to their claims. They responded quickly and sent me the information I needed more than once, in fact, because I lost my license information. I've been able to update the software over the years with no issues having a lifetime license. I also accidentally double purchased a module and they issued a refund immediately. This software is truly easy to use and after this video, you'll know the most important settings that will help you get the most out of this software. This software should run on most computers today, but the more powerful your computer, the faster it will run. You'll need an internal or external DVD or Blu-ray drive to make the copies. The brand has never been an issue with my system. I've used many different brands of DVD and Blu-ray drives, and I've never had any issue with using the software. If your computer can see and read the disk, the software can do its thing. So let's get started. After you download and install the software onto your computer, you select the software function you want. In this first example, I'll choose Blu-ray Ripper to demonstrate how easy it is to copy a movie from a Blu-ray. This is the main interface where you set up the job you're going to run. You'll notice that the convert icon is highlighted at the top. And then from the add menu, I will choose the Blu-ray DVD drive that has the movie in it and select it. Now this next part is important. This green bar is displayed when the software is checking for any encryption. Note this software is capable of decrypting almost any type of disk. And just because it doesn't say that it has decrypted the disk doesn't mean it hasn't just violated copyright protection. So ultimately it's up to you to know if you're authorized to legally copy a movie. Once you reach the screen, you're looking at the structure of the disk. The software will automatically select the main movie this is correct 99% of the time, but you can always check by clicking play. The main movie is usually the longest one listed by length. Here's another hint. For some reason, if you have a lot of long files in the structure of the DVD, the title of the main movie is usually called Title 800, or it's the number closest to 800. I don't know why they do that, but that just seems to be the case. If you select full movie, this software will copy everything on the disc, each title on the disc individually, and put them in the folder. Main movie will copy just the main movie. Custom mode will let you select any and all titles you'd like to copy. You can sort by length of titles. You can test any title by pressing the play button. Just give it a second to read that part of the disc and show you a piece of that video. So let's go back to the main movie section and take the main title that it thinks is the main movie and click OK at the bottom right corner of the screen. It gets the movie in the queue and here are the settings you need to consider selecting. First, you can rename the output file to what you want it to be by clicking on the name. Next is the subtitles. With this version of the software, it supports the latest multi-track MP4 format and you can include the subtitles. So add any that you would like here. In the next drop down, you can select the audio track. It is easy to identify them by the number of channels. Two for stereo, six channels for the 5.1 audio track. Often you will see DTS and AC3 for Dolby. You can select more than one to include in your file. In the next drop down, you can select the angle. You can only choose one angle. I recommend taking the default. Now let's look at the output profile selection. This is the most important section to get correct so that you can get a movie file the way you want it. From here, you can select the output format of the movie. I will select change. 
Here you can select a preset profile or create a custom profile. You can add any of the presets to the favorite selection for easy selection in the future. But for your custom profiles, you need to select custom to access any profiles that you have created. There are a lot of preset profiles, including ones for different types of devices. These are two that you'll want to use often when copying DVDs, lossless, MKV, and MP4. If you click on the edit under the output profile dropdown, you will get an option to customize any profile you've selected. You have a lot of options here, but here are the main settings you'll want to use. You will want to leave the original resolution on original. The bitrate will increase or decrease the video quality the most. For most great movies, I set the rate to 10,000 kilobits and keep the box unchecked for a variable bitrate. If you're going to be streaming the movie over the internet, you may want to choose to use variable bitrate. You will need to type the higher bit rates into the box if it's not listed in the selection. You can select the newest codec if you would like or keep it at the default. I would leave the frame rate as original and the same for aspect ratio so things don't start to look unnatural. Now this is important. Audio doesn't take up a lot of space so I would select audio copy so you get the original full surround sound track and select best audio. Then you simply give the profile a name. I try and name it so that I can tell what is in the profile. Now for the future, you'll have it ready to go, saved in the custom section. Once selected, you're ready to convert your movie. Select the save to location where you can find it when it's done converting your movie. By clicking the box, you can have it create a subfolder or not for each disk copied. Click convert at the bottom and it will take care of the rest. In the window, you will see the progress of each movie as it's converted. Once it reaches 100%, it will ding and the green button will say finish. If you look in the folder, you'll see the converted movie. Now let's take a look at copying a DVD and TV episodes. From the main menu, select DVD Ripper. This one is easy, select the output file here you can select change. Under format, look all the way to the right for the lossless video options. At this point, DVDs are not as big and to get the best resolution, select lossless MP4 or MK video. Now back on the main menu, select the add DVD drop down menu and add from CD where you can now select the DVD. On this menu, you can select the main movie or in this case, you'll want to select each of the episodes. You'll want to select custom mode most TV episodes will have one file that has all episodes in one file, or you can select them individually. That's what you'll do here. Select all episodes. Most are around 30 minutes per episode, but sometimes the first episode of the season is a little longer. So you'll want to select it and not the two to three hour file and then click OK. The software adds the episodes to the list of items to be converted. You then can rename them. Most of the time they're in order, so you can just name them episode 01 and episode 02 and episode 03. Adding the zero for the single digits helps them to stay in order when they're in the folder. Now select any subtitles that you want and check to be sure the audio track you want is selected as well. Then click on convert and select the folder you want to save them to. The program will then convert them until they're all finished. Now you can put all the episodes in a folder with the name of the TV series and drop them into your media server. Some other great features are converting videos from one format to another. Just select add video, choose one or more videos to convert, select the output profile type. In this example, I'm converting an MP4 file to an MKV. Just click your settings to be sure everything looks the way you want and click convert. You can also burn to a DVD or Blu-ray with this software. You can also use the copy DVD function to straight copy a DVD from one to another. Now let's take a look at some of the other settings here in the software. Under the settings, you'll find some preferences. For improved performance, you may want to enable GPU acceleration if you have a newer NVIDIA graphics card, but it's not required. Here you might also want to set the default directories for the output files as you convert them. So in conclusion, Liaowo Professional Media 13 is the gold standard as far as I'm concerned because of the ease of use and powerful features of this software. It's made all of my conversion tasks so easy, so I give it a score of 9 out of 10. I'll be reviewing other similar tools and will compare their features and the ease of use to Liaowo soon, so stay tuned. The reality is that no matter how great a video we make, you hold the key to our success. So be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.